the po po. So probably they're gonna turn around and come back and pull me over. In my own neighborhood, on my way to work. That, that's how the cops do it around here. They're usually pretty nice, but every now and then you run into a cop that's a dickhead. Especially in Miami Township. Gave me a grace, a warning ticket for parking in front of our house. Said we was on the curb. And we were not. Nothing coming that way. It's pretty spooky. You guys see where I parked my semi at? It's really creepy over there. At 3 o'clock in the morning, the witching hour. witching hour. Hoorah. Yeah, we're going to be heading down to the Wayne National Forest. Donathan Dredd does a lot of Dogman stuff too, stories. And I was on the way home last night listening to Donathan Dredd, which is a hell of a YouTube channel. You guys need to go check out Donathan Dredd. Best storyteller man I've heard in forever. And then the real adventurous dog man, that guy, he's, he's really good too. Except he put this music, like intro music on his channel now that man, I'm not too crazy about. I liked it better when it came on, just I heard the crickets in the woods and then started talking about dog man. And now he's got this loud ass intro music that is just aggravating. It actually just made me not watch his videos a time or two now because the music's way too loud I just didn't care for it but that's just my opinion but still he's a good channel go check him out real adventures uh, I forgot I was talking about anyway said four weeks ago or four months ago this happened to this guy close to Chillicothe he's a building inspector in outskirts of town in Chillicothe Ohio I'm getting ready to go to Chillicothe. Me and my wife go camping just outside Chillicothe in Hawking Hills National Forest. And on top of the mountain down there. When we were down there, we actually heard a howl. And kind of find out there's a lot of dog men down there. But at least the last two times I went camping down there, I, at least we were armed. We did have weapons, so. But I don't think my 45 will stop that thing. Oh God, like just now, the smell right here. Whew. I'm telling y'all, south of West Carrollton here, that either was a Bigfoot I seen standing there with his back to the road or a dog man. It was hunched over, I'm telling you. That's what makes me worry every time I go to the truck over here at nighttime. I know what I seen. I mean, I was tired, granted that man, it was like four in the morning and I was dog dead dog tired so it could have been my eyes playing tricks but I know what I seen over here that's the only reason why I try to record it every time because it was about this time guys love how they put these yellow cones up leave them up for days and don't do a damn thing to the road they've had that lane blocked off for a week now and the only thing they've done is block that lane off for a week now
downtown, y'all. Once you get past the volleyball courts right here, there's an abandoned factory right back here on the left. You can't see it. You'll be able to see it when the leaves fall off the trees. But it's a perfect spot, man, for something to hang out and live and sneak in the neighborhood and get animals and food. It was down here on the left-hand side of the road, on that side, over there. standing just past the guardrail somewhere on this area right there here had its back to the road I went and circled back and it was gone I pulled over and I'm like damn god did I just see what I thought I seen and I circled back I was kind of wary of the idea and there's nothing there though so I know what I seen the first time there's a lot of deer around here other than the deer on the side I mean the river is over there to your right about 7500 yards is the river Miami River. There's water. And it's it's really woody down through here. I mean, it's a forest. There was it hard to ride down there and record it. I see I thought I just seen something move. If you guys see anything, let me know in the comments. You see something running across the road or something? Because my eyesight is surely not what it used to be. And I'd like to give another shout out to our dear friend Mary Beth. I'm glad you're home and doing better and feeling better. That makes me feel better. So happy you're feeling better. I can't wait till all your pain has gone away and you're gonna feel like a new person. It makes me so happy. God bless you. This is parking where I park at now. Been a few times I pulled in and there've been three, four coyotes there in the yard where I park at. And I gotta hurry. I got a long way to go. Probably really should have been gone before now. But I ain't had two hours, three hours sleep in a row in a week. Run a little for your cottontail. <laughs> and a little bunny rabbit. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Oh shit, is there enough room for me before I'm beside my truck? Oh yeah. 